how's it going everyone that's right this is trying our car the coach of the san francisco swampers we're getting ready for week two of the indigo league of legends i posted week one of the ill last week the week one battle between the Green Bay Pachirisu. Definitely check it out if you have not seen it already, but if you've already seen it, you don't need to worry about that. But now we're here for week two. I'm ready to face the Miami Hurricanes, who is coached by the Pokey Resort. Really awesome guy. I got to meet him in the Skype conversation that we're doing right now for the league. He's got a great channel, good content, Really good narrations, great thumbnails. I'll put his channel in the description of this video if you want to go check him out as well. But I'm really excited to battle him. I We haven't battled yet, but when you guys see this, I'll probably battle him already. But I don't know. It's just tough to tell. But anyway, so... I, when I battled week one, which was the Green Bay Pachirisu, as soon as I was done with battling Mac or McCallan or the Green Bay Pachirisu, I went straight to planning for week two, and I actually was prepared until free agency happened yesterday. If you're not familiar, the free agency is when you can draft or replace or trade with other players for one Pokemon. You can only do this for every three weeks. So we did our first free agency for week one. And if you saw my analysis for week one, I had a Crocodile, but not anymore as I substituted Crocodile for Umbreon. That's why I have a unfamiliar face on my side of the field there. Umbreon is new to the team. And my opponent had a Mega Charizard Y as a Mega, but then he replaced it with Mega Tyranitar, that big dinosaur thing there over there next to Mega Lucario, also, also a Mega. So I'm not really sure why he did that move, especially since Mega Charizard Y can handle a majority of my members really well. I'm not really sure why he did that move. I guess the only way that I can think of, he only drafted, he only, he obviously drafted Tyranitar for Talonflame because he thinks that Talonflame is such a huge threat. When I haven't used Talonflame in my last video, so I'm not really sure why he did that. But that's his move. He's got two Megas, potentially three if you count Sableye. Sableye can now Mega Evolve as of Mega Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, but I don't know. That's just, I, I, I think it's not Mega, which is good. So, with that said, he has a Mega Tyranitar, he's got a Mega Lucario, a Gudra, a Fortress, Doug Trio, Sableye, like I already mentioned. He also has two EV Illusions. Jolteon and Sylveon. Of course, I have one of the EV Illusions Umbreon on my side, so there we go. And then he also has three legendaries, which are Cresselia, Meloetta, and Verizion. So that's a threat. I guess those are threats I have to consider when playing for this. And also, that purple Pokemon there, Swalot, which I don't like Swalot very much. I haven't trained one yet. But anyway, so we got some really interesting Pokemon for this week. I am ready for this, I'll tell you that. The main threats that I have to be wary of are probably going to be Cresselia, Mega Lucario, Potentially Mega Tyranitar, especially since Tyranitar can go either offensive or defensive, physical or specially oriented. It's tough to tell, but I think those three are the main threats. Everything else I see, I can handle pretty well. I have Talonflame for Verizon, I have him for hitting Fortress. Fortress might have entry hazards to set up, 
which I can bring as a lug for, or if I don't, then I can bring my Ferrothorn for exchanging entry hazards on both sides of the field there. And, uh, let's see, he has Sableye, who can burn a potentially a good, am a good amount of Pokemon there. But, I guess Talonflame, Talonflame works in this battle really well, except for Jolteon and Cresselia. But I like Talonflame for this matchup. Of course, he did bring Tyranitar, which I have Gastrodon for. And if you saw week one, Gastrodon was a boss at battle, so we might use him again. Who knows? I see Gudra coming. I, I do have Flygon, who is a dragon type, as well as Kieran Black, who's also a dragon. So I don't know if he's going to bring Gudra or not. I don't think he will. But I think he's going to bring Cresselia. Fortress, Tyranitar, or Lucario, Sableye, that's four, right? Four Pokemon so far out of six. I might see Sylveon and potentially Swalot or Dugtrio or Metalaga. So that's my guess there for the six members that he can bring. Only one can Mega Evolve per battle, so either Tyranitar or Lucario. In this case, since he does not have Mega Charizard Y as before because free agency happened, I'm really considering bringing Talonflame, Mega Gengar, Gastrodon, Umbreon, Mian Shao, Behem, and maybe Kiram Black. I haven't mentioned Behem, who is that psychic type alien looking Pokemon there. Right above Mian Shao and Karen Black, but Behem is a psychic type Pokemon. It's really slow, but it can hit really hard with his ability. I trained up a new Behem the past weekend, which worked well against Charizard Y, but since I don't have to face it, I guess, I mean, I'll still bring it because I can paralyze a few things. It's a weird set. A lot of people will not expect this kind of set that I have in mind when facing the Miami Hurricanes. So yes, I will definitely bring Behem for the first time in this battle. I might consider switching out, I guess, Mian Shao, but then of course I would not hit Tyran Tyranitar or Mega Lucario. I don't know, it's just tough to figure out at this point. But I think Mega Gengar, Talonflame, Gastrodon, Umbreon, that's four. Mia Shao, that's fifth, and VHM. So I guess, I guess those six will work unless I make some minor adjustments. Alright guys, that's my analysis. That was kind of quick, but I just wanted to make this happen before we face off against the Miami Hurricanes. If you enjoyed this, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys again on the battlefield for week two against the Miami Hurricanes. Who will prevail? Let me know what you guys think, and we'll see you then. Alright, have a great day, trainers.